All right, Shalom, Yeah, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushua, Hashem, Rakhadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to you, brothers, to the four corners of the earth, preaching this word and also laboring in this word of truth, love, and sincerity. And may the blessings fall upon the houses of the men, women, and children, which consist of a large multitude of the nation of Israel. All right, Shalom to the hopeful elect. And um, with that being said, this is a precept upon precept, uh, Matthew 10, verse 6. So let's get the first scripture. This is um, Isaiah 28, verse 9. It says, Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. You see, so in order to gain the true understanding of the scriptures, right, you must go precept upon precept, okay? Hey, you, you read one scripture, right, and then to get further uh, light and understanding on that scripture, you jump to another scripture, okay? And maybe another and another, right? Because one, one scripture, you can go to three, four precepts, you know, to back that scripture up, and they all come together, man, Okay? And I'm going to show you that in, a, uh, in this example, uh, in this lesson that I'm going, going to do, dealing with Matthew, the 10th chapter and the 6th verse. Okay? But that's how you get the true understanding of reading the Bible, man. Alright? Like I said before, and I'll keep saying, you cannot pick up the Bible and read it just like some comic novel, man. Okay? You're not going to understand it. You, got, you must go precept upon precept. That's how you read and get the true understanding of the Bible, man. It's a big puzzle, man. So if if the spirit's not dealing with you to understand the Bible, you're not gonna get it regardless. You know? But this this book is coded, it's parabolic, it's written in mysteries, you know? And only if you're a man of the Lord, a man of the Lord, are you to understand this book, man. Right? Or if you're a man or if you're being taught by a true man of the Lord, you know, you'll understand the Bible if you're meant to get it. Cause that all everybody's not meant to get or meant to get the book speaking to you Israelites, man. Okay, cause this is our book and our book only. You know? But every every one of our people right on this side are not meant to get it, man. Okay, because they have been blinded. Um Yeah, let's get this first. Let's let's go to the book of Amos, right? And I'll read this every time I uh do this precept upon precept series because hey, this is what it is. The book of Amos 3 verse 7 says, Surely God will do nothing but revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. See, so the prophets got the secrets, man. They were revealed to, the secrets were revealed to the men of the Lord. Okay? So, uh, we get the understanding, right? And then we teach it to you. Alright? So... Without further ado, let's go to the book of Matthew 10, verse 6. And it reads, it says, we'll start at verse 5. These twelve Yahweh shot sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, right? These are actually heathens. And into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You see? So, the disciples were given a, a, a direct command by Yahweh Shai, right? Saying, don't go into the way of the Gentiles, or don't go enter into the city of Samaritans, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So that was a direct order, right, from Yahweh Shai to say, hey, go to the Israelites, man. Go to my people, man. You see? A direct order, okay? Now, who, who are those sheep, right? The house of Israel. Let's get a precept, right? We're gonna, I'm going to show you how to get precept upon precept, how to truly understand how to read the Bible the correct way. Because the Christian church ain't going to teach you that. The Baptist church ain't going to teach you how to read the Bible the correct way. They're not going to. They're going to continue to teach you to read the Bible in error, man. All right? This is the book of Jeremiah 50, verse 17. It says, Israel is a scattered sheep. You see that? Israel is a scattered sheep. The lions have driven him away. 
first the king of Assyria have devoured him. And last this, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, had broken his bones. So Israel, the Israelites were scattered, man. Due to what? Due to the curses. Israelites were scattered. Let's, let's, you know what? Let's go to a curse and get it. Let's go to the book of Deuteronomy. All right, bear with, bear with me. Let's go to the book of Deuteronomy. We'll, we'll go to, we'll start at 30. Let me see. Uh, no, not this one. It's lock here. Um, we're trying to, trying to go to, uh, Here we go. Uh, the book of Deuteronomy 32, verse 26. It says, I said I will scatter them in the, into corners. I will make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. You see that? So where was the Israelites scattered? We was all scattered through what? The four corners of the earth, man. Amongst all these different nations. Okay? That's where the Israelites were scattered, all right? Let's read that again, Deuteronomy 32, verse 26, it says, I, I said I will scatter them into corners. I will make the remembrance of them to cease. The remembrance of who? The remembrance of us being Israel to cease, right? I will make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. You see that? Let's go to Deuteronomy 28. Verse 64 says, And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even to the other. You see, so that's part of the curse of Israel being scattered to the four corners of the earth. Okay, so let's go back to the Matthew, the 10th chapter, the 6th verse. Six verse. It says, But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The same with um, Matthew, the 15th chapter, right? It says, uh, Matthew 15, verse 24, it says, But he answered and said, I am, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So Yahweh Shah, the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, he was only, he only came for the house of Israel, for the Israelites only, man. Nowhere in the Bible says the Lord came for these other nations, man. It doesn't say that, man. And when it speaks about the Gentiles, right? The Gentiles is dealing with salvation. The Gentiles is are going to get mercy, right? Those are Israelites. Those are Israelite foreigners, man. Those are Israelites uh, uh, in a Gentile state of mind, if you will. Matter of fact, the precept that I already got in my Bible, the Matthew, the tenth chapter, the six verses. This it goes. Go to, let's go to the Book of Acts. The book of Acts, the 13th chapter, right? And we're going to jump. Um, let's start at 45. It says, but when the Jews saw the multitudes, they were filled with envy and spake against those things which spoken by Paul, contradicting and blaspheming. Why? Because the Jews, hey, then the Lord says, I'm going to provoke you to jealousy by a nation that is called no nation, roughly paraphrasing, right? Now, who, who, was, who was he talking about? He was talking about the Israelite foreigners, man. He was talking about uh, the Israelites that were in the Gentile state of mind, okay? You had the, the Jews that was living in the, the, land, in the land of Judea, right? They were pissed off because they was looking, like, looking at the Israelite foreigners as being no nation, being as heathens, you know? That's the why they were. That's how they were looking at them, man. Okay. Hey, some of them probably didn't have before they. Some of them probably didn't have a beard. They had they weird. They had their little weird customs of the other nations. 
uh, predominantly, more than likely, a lot of them was, had that, that Greek. That's why I said neither Jew nor Greek, because it's talking about, you know, uh, the Greek-speaking Jews, right? So when the Jew, when, so when when Paul brought those Israelite foreigners into the temple, hey, the, the Jews, why those of the circumcision, they was pissed off, man. You know, because they're like, hey, how can you? Why would you? How how dare you bring these heathens into the temple, man? You know. So. Uh, uh, verse 46 it says then Paul and Barnabas waxed bold and said it was necessary that the word of the Most High should first have been spoken to you but seeing ye put it from you and judge yourselves unworthy of everlasting life lo we turn to the Gentiles we turn to the Israelite foreigners man all right for so had the Lord commanded us saying I have set thee to be a light of the Gentiles, right? Because that's what Apostle Paul's ministry was, to go and uh, teach the word to the Israelite foreigners. That, that thou shouldest be for salvation unto the ends of the earth. And when the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and glorified the word of the Lord. And as many as were ordained to eternal life, believed. You see that? Believed. But these Israelites, you know, uh, these Gentiles that it's speaking about in the New Testament that's dealing with salvation and dealing with mercy, right? It's speak, uh, uh, speaking of Israelites, man. Israelite foreigners. Let me see. Uh, let's set up get the scripture real quick. Provoke you to jealousy, right? Spirit with me, y'all. Let me see. Provoke. Here we go. Okay, it's the Romans, book of Romans, alright. Alright, it's the book of Romans, the 10th chapter, verse. Here we go, 19, it says, But I say, did not Israel know first Moses said, I will provoke you to jealousy by them that are no people, and by a foolish nation, I will anger you. So the Jews was pissed off, man. They looked at the Israelite foreigners of being no nation, man. Of being as complete heathens, you know. But guess what? Those Israelite foreigners was being brought back in through, through what? Through faith, man. Because when, when they heard the word, they like, they believed the word. They like, oh, you know what? That's true. We got to be those people that it's speaking about, man. So the, the, those it's those Gentiles, those Israelite foreigners, they believed on the word, man. They believed on your house shy, man. Right? And uh, let's see. But Isaiah is very bold and said, If I was found of them that sought me not, I was made manifest unto them that asked not for me. But to Israel, he said, if All day long I have stretched forth my hands into a disobedient and gang saying people you know but that's the point okay the point is you know as we was reading that those gentiles that's being spoken about right in acts of 13 chapter i believe what i read the 40th 5th verse on down hey that the gentiles are speaking about is israelites man so when even when you go back to matthew the 10th chapter as it says uh Here we go, but rather, but go, I'll start at verse 5 again, it says, These twelve Yahweh shot sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans, into you not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You see, so their mission was to go to the lost, the, all the Israelites that are, that are lost, man. The lost sheep of the house of Israel, man. Right? And a lot of those lost sheep of the house of Israel were what? Israelites in foreign lands, man, right? Into foreign customs, you see? Being brought up in a, in a Greek way of life, man, right? Some of them being in a uh, Roman or, Roman or, army. You see, like Cornelius, man. Cornelius was an Israelite, man. 
Okay? He was a centurion, but he was still by blood an Israelite. Okay? Uh, being looked at by the, uh, the Jews in the land as what? A heathen. You know? But he was brought back in by what? The hearing of the word and believing because he had faith, man. Okay? So dealing with Matthew, the 10th chapter, the 6th verse, man. Right? But go not rest to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Mean exactly what it says. Okay? Go rather to rest to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Only. Period. Point blank. Alright? Point blank. The Lord came for Israelites only. That's all he came for, man. As a matter of fact, let's we close out with that, right? Let's get one more. Oh, I'll flip right to it. Let's go to Matthew 1 and 21. It says, um, it says, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shah, for he shall save his people from their sins. See, so he's only gonna save his people from their sins. They don't see, not the whole world, right? His people, the Israelites, man. That's it, okay? So the Lord is only coming back for his people, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, okay? Hey, but with that, hope this lesson was edified. Till next time, shalom.